Let's, let's dim down the light on George. Merci. Jean Baptiste. Okay. Your insurance is what? You guys ready? We're ready. Yeah. Okay, you ready on the lights? Yeah. Cell phones on silent, please. That was nice. I could use my inner light if that'll help. Please. Hang on. Uh oh. On TV, the first job I did was uh, a television series called Riptide. And then I did, uh, right afterwards, I did a, a show called Street Hawk, where I played uh, my evil twin. Um, and that was good fun. My father did uh, the news, and he was doing it live, and it was just when they started putting newsroom sets in the back of the, you know, you got the anchor man here, and you've got people in the background typing. And there's a real actual office, but at 11 o'clock at night, there were very few people that'd be typing. And I used to go in and sit in the back when my dad was doing the news, and I'd pretend to be typing at like 16 years old. And I always had this terrible fear that I could just jump up, because it's live, at any second and just go, and then watch everybody's you know, mouth drop, I want to be over. And that's still, you know, there's, that's still always overriding anything. Anytime I'm standing next to a camera, I'm afraid I could just jump in and screw it up somehow. It's not easy to direct yourself, but um, mostly it's about uh, um, modesty, because if you have any sort of a modicum of modesty, you know, you're sitting in a, you're doing a scene, if you do more takes on yourself than you do on the other actors, you look like a real schmuck. So mostly it's about, uh, uh, it's mostly just embarrassing. I think that's the best way to put it, is it's embarrassing. The, the idea of being an actor, I think, uh, happened very late in life for me. I, I think the best performance I'd seen, I moved to LA in 1982, and it was seeing Paul Newman in The Verdict. Watch him do the summation at the, uh, at the end of the movie in front of the jury. And he does things in it that you, you, don't, um, you still don't see. You know, he doesn't do monologues as if you felt like it was a monologue. He starts to talk again and then he decides not to and he walks away. The first movie I remember seeing, my parents took me to see Mary Poppins, uh, which I, I, uh, I loved. Um, the first movie I took a date to was, I, I honestly couldn't remember, but you gotta remember about the time, so it was probably, uh, it was probably like 1976, so let's just call it, um, uh, Taxi Driver, and leave it at that. <sighs> you know, not, not a great date film, Taxi Driver. The thing I learned most about playing sports is, um, to cheat. And I want all the kids at home who see this to remember, cheat. Uh, if you can't beat them, cheat. I, 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 and, and do drugs, kids. You learn that confidence is 99% of what it is you do. I mean, literally. Um, uh, I went from one season to another where I didn't really become that much better a hitter. I just realized I could hit the ball. And instead of getting up to the plate and saying, I wonder if I'm gonna hit the ball, you'd go, I wonder, where I want to hit the ball, and suddenly I was a hitter. The hardest thing about playing football in this film was uh, uh, the athletic supporter, you know, because, you know, it's hard over the truss. It's uncomfortable, I have to say. Um, you know, the hardest thing about playing football was it hurt. You get hit by one of these kids and you think, that really, really hurt, and I, what was I thinking when I took this job? But, you know, it's fun. You get to, you don't have to grow up for a while. You'll see these guys in college, and you don't, or in, in, in the pros, and you'll think, you know, you don't realize that there isn't a single 46-year-old out there. You hear that helicopter up there? Britney Spears is out there.